Welcome back, everybody. This is Lady Doves, and we're picking up right where we left off. Uh, right here on the menu screen, because, uh, just in case, I didn't really want anything to continue on, you know, before I started recording. So, yeah, here it is. Huh, someone is coming. Let's see who it is. Two people, I have no idea what you are, really. I, I'm gonna assume you're a goth boy, and you're a rad skater dude. Let's see how that goes. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Wait, Mr. Gala, that was on the Toma da Chill, sorry. Oh, wait, we got a new thing. Hold on one second, folks. I'm gonna read my phone while I'm on the job. We have new things here. Okay, Freya, 29th January, writing for the Evening Whispers, talks about mundane things. Oh, here it is, self-summary. Journalist and short story writer. You can read my surreal and weird short stories at the Evening Whispers. Idolize and aspire to be someone like Jill Naiman or Maruki Harukami. I, I apologize if you are real people and I butchered your names. I, I've been well established I can't read good. Uh, we've got a self-summary now for Georgie. Born and raised in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. <laughs> okay, now we know what to do if we ever need to break out of jail. I'll give you some milk and cookies. That's your kryptonite. You'll be stuck on the toilet. Also, sorry to... One moment, please, dude. I need to... Oh! There actually are things for me to read on this thing. You know what? You dudes can wait. I'm gonna read this. If anyone doesn't care, then just skip it. Road Trip, Freya Fantima. September 23rd, 2020. And if a double-decker bus crashes into us, to die by your side is such a heavenly way to die. And if a ten-ton truck kills the both of us, to die by your side, well, the pleasure, the privilege is mine. Morrissey's voice blasted from the old speaker of the car. Everyone in the car was singing along, and by everyone, I was talking about me and her. There were only two of us, two of us and an almost empty highway. Do you consider dying by my side to be a heavenly way to die? She asked after the song finished, breaking the noise, noisy silence of the car. That depends, I answered. Depends on what? On how we die. I'm sure having a mass psychopath slowly mutilating us while we're holding hands won't be a pleasant experience. Then what kind of demise would you consider a heavenly way to die next to me? Huh, that's hard. I'm pretty sure I'd prefer something that's not too painful, though. So us dying of old age together would be heavenly way for us to die? Hey, hold on. We just started officially dating yesterday. Don't plan too far ahead. Ouch! What was that for? Meanie. Ha ha ha. I was just joking. Besides, I'd rather think about a heavenly way to live with you right now. And have you found the answer to that? Look at me, and then look, look, close your eyes. What do just do it? She closed her eyes, I leaned over, getting close to her face. Then for a moment that felt like a hundred years we kissed. The speedometer was pointing a hundred uh, kilometers per hour and the highway was almost empty. Almost. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Did I miss yesterday's story? Oh, yes I did. Your free trial will start tomorrow, September 22nd. Thank you for subscribing to our fiction panel free trial. You will have active subscription to our fiction plan and will start receiving your daily short stories tomorrow. Hope you enjoy the contents we provide. Oh, so every day I get another short story to read. This is the first one, Road Trip by Freya. Oh, I look forward to the other ones. Now, what does this do? This looks like, I guess, the version of Spotify. Well, this is the song that we're hearing now, I guess. What's the next one? Oh, they're all... Ooh, I like this one, too. I'm kind of liking this. You get to pick your own background music. Uh, let me go through these real quick. Oh, no, that was just three. You know, let's stick with this one. Unless there's... Oh, we can actually pick it like this. All right, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, sorry about that, gents. Uh, what will you be having today, Mr. Gala? And I'm assuming that is your boyfriend or girlfriend or undecided. I'm sorry. Do not mean to judge. Oh, jeez. What, what voice should I give you? This is a drink of water. You brought water with me today. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Hello, Lady Doves. Yeah, he's gonna get a demented voice just because I want him to. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Yes, stoic, quiet type, my friend. Oh, jeez, what voice should I give you? I should have thought, thought, thought ahead on this, huh? <sighs> this is 
the place you recommended. You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but... to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Wow, this is going to sound really annoying, but I don't care because <laughs> I think this is funny. Okay, so coffee and ginger. We put coffee there. We can make a primary ingredient ginger. Well, let's see. If I do this, it increases the bitterness and warmth. If I do that, bitterness and warmth is increased. You know what? Let's just make the coffee the, the primary, and we just top it off with ginger. I think too much ginger is not the way to go about this. Oh, so I should make you part of my list of coffee things. You know what? I'm going to put it in the back of this book so I never have to lose it. One moment, please. I don't know if Gala's going to like this yet, so I'm not going to write it down in my book. But I have his name here, at least. Brew. Oh, we even have fresh ginger we slice up into that. That's good. And, oh, uh, it has, like, ginger flakes in it. Uh, I'm not too sure if he's gonna like this. Well, let's serve it and see what happens. Your order is ready, sir? Thank you! Well, he didn't seem to hate it, so let me write it down. With a little note saying... Try ginger second next time. Now, what about you, Mr. Quiet? How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it! Not sure if it'll be to your liking! Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Uh, okay, I'll give you the exact same thing. The coffee, coffee, ginger. Brew. You said you might not like it, but, eh, you know, you asked for it, I'll serve it. Just notice all the bandages on your hand, dude. What the hell do you do for a living? Are you like a professional box cutter or something? Here's your order. Huh. Good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from L.A., right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? Yeah, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, dude. I get it. I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Yeah, I'm turning him into just a straight up robot, aren't I? Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in... 1865! So, when you guys said you met in the 60s... Were you talking about the 1860s? I think they were. In fact, they might have been talking even sooner. Oh yeah, we get the quiet. <laughs> We met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not 
not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This place, wasn't it where we first met? Yeah, it when it was a bar. They moved or... Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile if you don't mind? Heh, <sighs> nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Well, that's a little rude to ask, don't you think? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Yeah, you like professional box cutter? I gotta know what you do to get all these band-aids, man. Kind of! With the news about the newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been getting extremely crowded oh oh you know what i do think that that's scrubs that you're wearing underneath your outfit okay so you work in a hospital but seriously what's with all the bandages is that like just a side job you do what the hell is the virus that dangerous no one is sure about that but most people who come in are just i don't want to use this word but they're just Annoyed. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admissions officer! Ah, uh, yes, I'm still a admissions officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this! Eh, to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do! Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore, they can just order it through the Blood Marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlasts get their supply from the hospital? They can't certify their own blood! Only hospitals with the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just a middleman with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh, yeah? How's your vegan diet going? Yeah, how the hell does a vampire go vegan? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Uh, excuse me for asking? By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Is it like synthetic blood? You know, like fake meat, the forever meat, not forever meat. What is it called? Beyond meat, that's it. Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Oh, I was right. Hit the nail on the head. Rewarding myself with some water. God, I'm a genius. The water really does help. Synthetic blood. It'd be too complicated to explain. Like the blockchain, cryptocurrency, NFTs, non-fungical tokens. You know, all the bros know about it. Sorry, I had to make that joke. I apologize. But basically, some scientists are working... To make some kind of blood that can satisfy my... Without really relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Is it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it. 
it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Huh. Would synthetic blood taste good if I mixed it with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste it good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try experimenting with... Other... Things? Other... Things. Mostly booze. Fair enough. But I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Okay, so yeah, I should cut down on the coffee. Or maybe don't make it a primary ingredient. Next time I'll... Or if I do get the opportunity, I'll make ginger the second ingredient. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I said... Did I say Fury or Furry? I'm, I'm gonna apologize outright if I get that wrong. It's just a one-letter difference, and the dyslexia in my brain... It's so easy for it to add that extra R, man. I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too... general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is all drink. I heard some werewolves need to do kinky stuff to soothe themselves before, during their fury. Okay, this sounds like the makings of a fanfiction thing, so I'm just gonna, you know, not talk about it. What? Oh, he's gonna make me talk about it, goddammit. Alright, if you're a fanfiction writer, you're probably gonna have a kick out of this, I guess. What kind of a kinky thing? Like, BDSM? That only happens in porn. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally, we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So, continuing with your story? How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know it involves ginger! And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down. I will, one moment. So, less caffeine, maybe tea, with ginger. Moving on. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you? That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, who's on your phone? Is it your boss? Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Dad? Sugar baby? 
I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. Yep, you know what? I was right the first time. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So, I'll see you around. Thanks for coming. Take care on your way home. Well, those guys seem nice, don't they? Hopefully you don't come back and murder me later. Hey, Freya. Hey. Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. Hey. Are you done writing for the night? Kinda. Those two guys. Kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendship that grows in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? My mind was in the same place as the main character, by the way. I'm ashamed to say that. You know. Oh, never mind. You. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at them. Anyway, it was pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow again, I assume? Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Bye, Freya. Oh, I don't hear the dingle at the end. Black lemon, a perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. Cool, okay. Well, it's the next day. Oh, yeah, lights are on. Coffee talk. Thursday, September 24th, 2020. I wonder if I'll see more customers come Friday and Saturday. Guess we'll find out. Gonna do another day, though. Oh, the evening whispers. Uh, let's see. Despite losing a member of Super Smile's latest out Losing a member Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Well, good for Super Smiles. Vlogging is now part of the curriculum at some private high schools. <laughs> you know what? It might be one day. Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orsage Workers Union demands. We still have brains. Make peace. Uh, it just seems like standard stuff you'd read in a newspaper, I'd say. Let's start the day. Or, evening. I gotta start saying evening. Well, they say day written on it. Eh, who cares? Oh, hello there. Looks like you're ready to go to a sports game or coming back from a sports game. Welcome. Um, so you're saying yo, so that means... Yo, dog. Nah, that sounds horrible. Yo, dude. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Uh, I guess anything more? Alright, uh, honey milk. Is that, like, an actual thing? Nah, I don't see anything here that's listed as honey milk, so I'm just gonna assume that, uh, it's going to be a, like, a... Well, I can't put honey as a base, so it's gonna have to be milk. So do I want to put double milk and honey? Let's just put double milk and honey. Brew. I'm really unsure if this is gonna work out, but... You know what? You live, you learn, and I don't think there's any serious consequences for messing this stuff up. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you, dude. You're welcome. Alright, yeah, you seem like a good customer. Alright, you didn't really seem to go gaga over it, so maybe next time I should put double honey? to watch a sports game with this person. Oh no, it's just Freya. Hey, Lady Doves. Seems like there's a cat. Oh, there's a kitty cat! Yay! Oh my goodness, it's a black and white kitty cat. Ladies, black and white lady, my cat. If you guys ever want to see pictures of my cat and dog, they're on my Twitter. You can find a link to my Twitter in the description. But oh my god, it's a kitty cat! Oh my god, she came on in with me! Yes, yeah, she did. I love her. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? 
Aw, she's not a real kitty cat. No, I'm just no, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Hi, barista! Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! You look like you've seen a ghost. No, oh, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since I last time I saw a Neko Mini transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi's friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right! Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Than commuting as a hue. I mean, than a community in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have some milk, please? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? Nah, milk and nothing else. Alright, yeah, fair enough. Milk, milk, milk. Brew. Actually, can I just give her as is? Nope, okay. Wait, what does the eye thing do? Tog Pro version 2, manufactured by Toge. Oh, this is the game company, or like the company that made this game, game developers. How do we pronounce that? Toge? Toge? Togi? I, I'm sorry, I can't read words properly, and you know, I chose to play a game that <laughs> requires a lot of reading. I'm crazy. Bro, I mean, honestly, I don't really read aloud all that much, and doing this has definitely helped me, t helped me get better at it, there's no doubt about it. Feeling a bit more confident with it. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you! Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment! It's really good! You're welcome! What's a young girl like you doing alone late this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up. I can take care of myself. Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, that's for sure. Okay, I'm making her more teenage sounding. You know what? I'm gonna stick with it. Like you, that's for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So, I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you would know. Uh, I doubt. Oh my, are you? Just say it. Is this something illegal? Or, if you are in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously? You never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob. I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not the great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. Yeah, don't worry, I'm good. I wrote it down here and I even still remember it. Freya likes espresso, that's coffee times three. I wonder what would happen if I gave her something different. No, I don't want to do that to her. She's my friend. Your espresso is ready. <sighs> as good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait, a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? A member of the Super Smiles who just graduated? Oh, we did just read about that. Oh, that's so cute. And 
started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, drinking milk? I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit to drink milk, no less. Yeah, achievement unlocked. Oh, even got an achievement for that. Achievement unlocked, achievement unlocked. I like it. No, seriously, why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folks problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, uh, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. That, that's not really comforting, girl. I'm afraid to let my own cat outside by herself. I'm always afraid. Like, she actually did once run away and I had a heart attack. I, I don't think being a cat makes you invincible. Now I'm really worried. Same. Anyway, what happened? My dad... We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? Oh, we gotta get something sad here. She passed away a few years ago, yeah. Sorry, girl. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Oh, who's coming in now? We got a packed house tonight, don't we? Oh, it's Joe Georgie. How you doing, Georgie? Good evening, ladies. Oh, just Lady Dub, sorry. Good evening, girls I've never met before. <laughs> I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Lady Dubs. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can a brother get a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Okay, you want something different. You want, okay, so th what is this? This is green tea. All right, and you want it with lemon and honey. Oh, that's ginger. My bad, let, let me reset. <laughs> Green tea, lemon, honey. Okay, I don't know how many options- I wonder if I have a limited amount of resets now that I think about it, but we'll keep it up with this. Ooh, each got a own little different stat, that's so cute. Alright, serve it. Cough syrup, it's called. You know what, I'm gonna write down that. If it's cough syrup, so let's just make it down so we know for the future. Here, your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Why do you call it that? Uh, cough syrup? Oh, sorry, I got the... Never mind, just forget what I just said. It's cough syrup, moving on. Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. And? Damn. This is great! How's your day going? Any anything out of the ordinary on patrol? <laughs> yeah! Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift tonight. Tell me, tell me! You sure you want to hear about it? Yeah! The scary thing I witnessed was... I said... <laughs> nice. Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, the labor union protest, everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? 
we got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Oh, Jesus, sorry, I've been talking so much, please forgot the voice I gave you. Uh, hey. Thanks for the place to drink and a place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Alright, well, didn't talk much to that person. Doesn't matter. They enjoyed their drink. Oh my god, I love your phone case, girl. Frey, looks like you got a little puppy on it. What the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal for our coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're riding. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. Oh, you know, I should probably write down the order that she likes, Rachel. She likes the milk times three. Uh, I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So basic- oh, that's sorry, that's still Georgie. So basically, you wanted to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? Uh, how do you know? What, can you read minds now, old man? I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You could forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. Uh, it's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop! That's exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here just made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? This is the part where, like, a robber comes in and shoots everyone. <laughs> uh, I should not think so morbidly, huh? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes up with a discount, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes in public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has good hearing. That should kill protect herself. Anyway, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I have told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. With more stab wounds and blood on the carpet. What does not happen in your family? It happens in mine all the time. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them. And they learned something about me as well. That the jugular is actually not that easy to get to, really. I recommend going for the legs. They have like a big vein there that really like bleeds out good. That's what I learned at least. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument made things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean, before your solo career? No. Before mom passed away. What happens after each other, after each fight? Oh. Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But
But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to get to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when Mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. Ah, and she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did that happen? To be honest, I'm not even too sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run away even faster, farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't really need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever use the word, I'm an adult. Just give yourself some time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure the both of you will be able to resolve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend you just go home. I, it's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride, but you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? Uh, in the western part of Neko Town. Oh. That's quite far. You're still gonna give me a ride home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? Nah, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Lady Doves and Freya. Take care of yourself on your way home. See you around, Lady Doves. There's the dingle. I guess I should say jingle. Dingle has another meaning to it, doesn't it? And here we, there they went. Yes. And you can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. I barely beat my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. You know, who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. Not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure one about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be coming back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. Ha <laughs> ha, I bet it is. Okay then, take, take, take care. 
Be careful on your way home. It is raining, and she brought her bike. Hope she makes it back okay. And the Milky Way, sweet, cool, delicious like outer space. And I think on that note, folks, we're going to end the episode here. We're learning more. I guess there is no real overarching story. I guess the overarching story is just society itself. But we get a lot of these lovely little stories in between. I wonder if we'll meet some of these characters again. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We'll find out. So, if you guys enjoy what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. And thank you all so much for watching. Later. Oh, wait, before I can save, we have to do the intro sequence of Coffee Talk. Okay, so you know what? Now it's Friday. Yay! Okay. Now I can save. Now we can officially later. Wait, no, we can't later. God damn it. You know what? We're gonna read this first and then we later. The Evening Whispers, Friday, September 25th, 2020. The Orsage... I really hope... Orcish? Oh, it's Orcish! Okay, that's it. The Orcish Workers Union in talk with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street... Or... Orchistra? I don't... If, is that a word? I don't know. Questioned over their pro-eco-terrorism lyrics. And werewolf activists imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedatives. Oh, we're going back to the sedatives thing. I wonder if we'll meet the werewolf guy again, Gala. But we are going to save, and now we can officially later. <laughs>